Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Kim. Today is Thursday, February 23rd, 2023. And we begin with a silver lining to the stormy skies over much of the country right now. For many of you, you only need to look out the window to see that the three-day storm system we told you about yesterday has officially arrived. With it came thousands of canceled flights. But for some lucky travelers stuck at San Francisco International Airport, the wait might be worth it. The WAG Brigade, an eclectic group of therapy animals, makes the rounds at SFO, visiting the busiest terminals wearing vests that say, Pet Me. Axios reports the brigade was created by the San Francisco Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals to offer emotional support and stress relief for travelers. It includes Lilu the pig, a 34-pound rabbit named Alex, and a mix of 12 dogs and cats. A WAG Brigade spokesperson calls them the unicorns of therapy animals and says they must demonstrate that they can work a two-hour shift a week while remaining calm and impervious to things like loud noises and tail pulling. Another treat for travelers, new family seating on United. According to CNN, the airline has a new seat map feature to help families with kids find seats together at the time of booking free of charge. In the past, customers often had to pay extra for upgrades to get seats together, but the Department of Transportation and President Biden have been calling on all airlines for months to cut back on what they call junk fees that make family travel expensive. Delta, American, and Southwest already offer options for families with young kids to sit together or board early. United's new policy goes into effect in early March. Some old favorites are changing with the times, and not everyone is happy about it. New prints of several books like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, The BFG, James and the Giant Peach, and Matilda, all written by late British author Roald Dahl, are undergoing publisher edits to replace what some might consider offensive language. According to the Telegraph newspaper, hundreds of words, including descriptions of characters' appearances, races, and genders, have been changed or removed in at least 10 of Mr. Dahl's 19 novels. Today's editions include notes at the bottom of the copyright page saying, Words matter, and we regularly review the language to ensure that it can continue to be enjoyed by all today. While some are celebrating the changes, others, like famed author Salman Rushdie, call it censorship. Even the leader of Great Britain weighed in through his spokesperson who said, When it comes to our rich and varied literary heritage, the Prime Minister agrees with the BFG that we shouldn't gobble-funk around with words. It's probably no surprise that people like working less, but a new study shows employers may like it too. Results are now in from the largest four-day workweek trial, and according to Bloomberg, it was hugely popular. More than 60 companies and nearly 3,000 employees in the U.K. tried out the shorter schedule from June through December. The results? Higher revenue, lower staff turnover, and less worker burnout. 90% of participating companies said they would keep the experiment going, with some deciding to make the change permanent. As for the employees, about one in six said four is the new five, and that no amount of money would convince them to return to a five-day work week. It's part San Francisco, part Tokyo, and it's coming to Disneyland. San Francisco is a new area at the theme park that, according to Disney, will transport you to the not-too-distant future in a fictional mashup of the two iconic cities. USA Today reports the new area was inspired by the Oscar-winning Disney Plus series Big Hero 6 and will have a vibrant multicultural neighborhood feel with places to eat and shop. San Francisco will replace the Pacific Wharf area at Disney's California Adventure Park and is set to open this summer. That's it for Kid News. Now, today's Kid News quiz. What is the name of the pig in SFO's Animal Wag Brigade? Lilu. How many companies in the UK participated in the four-day workweek trial? More than 60. What is the name of the author whose popular books are getting some major edits? Roald Dahl. What television series inspired Disney's San Francisco?
Big Hero 6. In today's Kid News Kicker, yesterday it was the Cadbury Contest. Today, it's what some are calling the Cadbury Cream of the Century. A thief in Britain has admitted to stealing nearly 200,000 Cadbury Cream eggs in what police couldn't resist calling an egg-stravagant heist. According to the New York Times, 32-year-old Joby Poole, dubbed the Easter Bunny by police, was caught using a stolen tractor to tow away a trailer of the treats worth about 37000 thousand U.S. dollars. Poole is expected to be sentenced next month to about two years in jail. His lawyer said in court that the eggs had not been tampered with and could still be sold in stores. Meanwhile, the local police are having loads of fun with this, saying they helped save Easter by cracking the crime. And a big hello to our teachers and classrooms, Mrs. Leverett's Bears at Robert Gordon School in Roselle Park, New Jersey. Mrs. Robles's High Achieving Hawks at Hawthorne Elementary in Riverside, California. Mrs. Nakamoto's Fantastic Fifth Graders at St. Columba Catholic School in Durango, Colorado. Mr. Murray's Bulldogs at Jefferson Houston Pre-K-8 through IB School in Alexandria, Virginia. And Mrs. Melzna's Cardinals at Mayville Elementary School in Mayville, Wisconsin. Thanks for listening. Please rate, review, subscribe, and share Kid News with all your friends and family. And we'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning.